I love forms. And I love forms inside of Smart Suite. Who doesn't like Smart Suite or forms or Smart 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 Suite forms? Is that can I word today? Well, I know you can word, and I know I can what I know I can word getting us through this video. So recently, we introduced a really great feature, which involves conditional logic. So in a form, something that happens often is that you want to make sure that something is only filled out if another condition is met. When working with various clients, there are some instances in where people are based out of different countries. And when people are based out of different countries, they have different tax liabilities and different things you have to consider when it comes to billing. So what I would recommend is that you utilize our conditional logic feature for things that essentially come up only in certain instances. So this is an example sales CRM form. Now in this form, we actually have a requirement for company HQ address. So for example, what I could do is set it so that I make another field that could be a single select property and I'm gonna call it, I'm gonna put yes and no and I'm actually gonna make this called VAT tax. So if I drag this on here, I could set this to be required but also make sure that it's only shown when certain conditions are met. So for example, I can put is your company based out of the EU? If so, then make sure to fill out this field as yes. So I'm gonna limit it to specific options of just yes and no. Um, you could just literally set it so that it's like just one or the other, just as a general form concept. If I had like three selections here, or if I only wanted it to be yes, I could just set it to yes. Say like that was something that was across the world and anything that was outside of the US, I could set it to just yes. But that's just a contextual note for forms. So I'm just gonna leave this as show field only when conditions are met. So then if we go to the form here and share it, you can pick company size, which is required, a monthly investment, goal start date could be something next month. Put in an example phone number if we want, put the company website. And then if I were to put United States, you'll notice that this disappears. That VAT tax requirement question disappears. But if I were to put something like Berlin, Germany, then I have to pick between yes and no. And obviously not tax advice, but for example, someone could be required to pay VAT tax for services if they're based out of the EU. It's very contextual, just an example. Then they could press yes. Or if for example, they're in Brazil, in Rio, it's not, that, it's not contextual to their country. It's not tax advice, but that's how that would maybe go. And we could see that no would be right here and more contextual. And then they can fill out the rest of the form as they please. There's a lot of different ways that you can do this. I mean, it doesn't have to just be for something so technical like that. You could do it for literally circumstances where you only want the phone number to show if, for example, they have a date that is before a month from now. So on my form, I also have it set up so that if you know it's a far along goal date and their investment is under 3000, then this isn't gonna show. But if I put 3000, but if I put 4000, you'll notice this pops up because one of the two conditions are met. I really like this because there are so many different situations in where in a pipeline, you want someone to fill out a form in a certain way, but the only solution is to have conditional logic. So this update is pretty huge and allows us to do things a lot better than we previously were able to within forms and smart suite. Let me know what your thoughts are on this update and whether you think you're gonna utilize this in your workflow moving forward. And make sure to check out other videos like this one on how to improve your skill set using SmartSuite even more.